So here's example two from the interconverting KA and PKA topic. Uh, if you need more of a background and more detail on how I'm approaching uh, this example, please watch the first video. So uh, we're, we have asset A here and we are given the PKA and asked to find the asset dissociation constant for this asset. Well, the KA is equal to 10 to the negative PKA. So the KA is equal to 10 to the negative given PKA, which is 4.5. And that gives me a value of 3.1623 times 10 to the minus 5. Now I need to determine how many significant digits I need for this final uh, value, this, this KA. Well, uh, if I look at the PA, I see that there is one decimal place in the given pKa. So that means that my Ka value should be rounded to one significant digit. So my final answer that I would type into this box here would be three with a decimal place times 10 to the minus five. For acid B, we are doing the exact same thing. We are given the pKa and ask to find the Ka. So the Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa, which is equal to 10 to negative 11.78. So that value is, it's very small. Uh, as a Ka value smaller than acid A, it would be 1.6596 times 10 to the minus 12. Now, before I report this answer, I need to make sure that uh, I've rounded it to the correct number of significant digits. How many would that be? Well, if I look at the given PKA, it's got one, two decimal places. So this would be rounded to one, two decimal places. My final answer would be 1.7 times 10 to the minus 12. Now let's do acid C. Here we are given the KA and asked to find the PKA which is a, a shorthand for the Ka. So the PKA is equal to the negative log of the Ka, just like we did for pH and hydronium ion concentration. A negative sign would make the Ka a positive value, so that's why it's the negative log. Uh, the, so the PKA is equal to the negative log of 2.90 times 10 to the minus seven. And when I put this into the calculator, what I get is 6.5376. And I need to round this to 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 decimal places. So my answer would be 6.538. So again, I round to three decimal places because there were one, two, three significant digits in my original given value. So my final answer needs to be uh, rounded to three significant digits and for PKA, only the decimal places count towards significant figures. The last thing we need to do is uh, rate these acids by relative strength. So I think the easiest way to do this for me especially after, uh, as we work through the, the, our prior topics that have introduced acid dissociation constants, is to just look at the Ka values. The smaller the Ka value, the weaker the acid. So if the Ka value is really small, meaning it's got a, a large power that it's raised to uh, when written in scientific notation, then that means that equilibrium lies very, very far to the left hardly any products form that acid barely ionizes. So it's a very weak acid. So when we look at uh, our acids here, A, B, and C, well, we have a Ka for C. We have a Ka for B, here it is. And we have a Ka for A, here it is. So let's look at the power. So the Ka for C is 2.9 times 10 to the minus seven. The Ka for B is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 12, and the Ka for A is 
3 times 10 to the minus 5. B has the smallest acid dissociation constant, or Ka value. So B would be the weakest acid, 3. And when I look at these values, it looks like C has the next smallest, the second smallest Ka value. So it would be the second weakest acid. And acid A has the largest Ka value. So of the three, it is the strongest.